Hello, it's Mog here, and today I want to talk about um, something that has been bothering me now for a while and that people seem to want to dismiss for some reason, as like there's nothing wrong with it. But um, the the wine cellar dungeon, I believe, ever since the um, let's see, the Age of War update specifically with the Frown Nerve. Um, has gone really hard, and there's a lot of naysayers out there who will say, Oh, it's fine, you know, just use momentum, just use this, you know, specific foul. But then, that's the whole point. It's not balanced if you have to have a specific weapon to go through it. Um, the dungeon is hard, I get that, and it is an end game dungeon, and again, I'm fine with a, a difficulty challenge. I've played hard games, I've played Elden Ring, for goodness sake. It's, I'm used to playing hard games. But not when the difficulty isn't a crutch, and especially so when the dungeon itself is just not attuned at all or balanced ever since the Frown Nerf in Age of War. Like, the dungeon itself is still based off pre-Age of Sorcery balance, essentially. Um, Frowls, for example, take way too much damage from this place, especially from the... Uh, the red skele the skeletons, um, the skeleton sub bosses. I think there's like four of them. Um, those are like arena level, like arena champion level strength bosses. But the only big difference is you can't stun these at all. Um, they are absolutely are frail killers. If the arena champion is a frail killer, um, these skeletons are frail killers too, like without a doubt. And I've done this dungeon a few times since Age of War, and I have lost countless frowls to these bosses. It's no joke. And then you have the very last boss, which is Fag. Fag, or whatever you want to call him. Fag. I mean, that sounds like I'm saying Fag, but... Um, this boss, again, the encounter is fine. Like, the, the the boss itself is fine. Like, the it's a fun boss. I like the boss. It's unique. You know, you gotta dodge the AoE. You got the skeleton adds you gotta deal with. I'm fine with that. The, diff the problem is... Um, the boss has too much HP, he was never adjusted for the stats, stat changes on the Frowls, and Frowls get stun locked all the time on this boss, like, people are saying, oh, just, you gotta commit and help the Frowl, I do that, like, I am actively engaged in the fight all the time, but it's my Frowl what gets demolished because all the aggro is on the Frowl, even if I disable the irritate perk, the Frowl just gets bounced around, not doing anything at all, and of course the the frowl cannot dodge the AOE. It doesn't dodge any attacks. It just stands there and takes the damage like an idiot, and then proceeds to die. Like I almost lost a beast tamer Frida, who had like over a hundred um, percent strength bonus, twenty plus on all stats, like eight seven thousand HP, like fully armored, best gear and weapons I could get. And she almost still died. I had to kill myself just to end the fight. Like, we had a doubt this dungeon is just not balanced. And a lot of people on the farm say, no, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. No, I've tried every fucking method there is out there. And people are like, it's an easy dungeon. It's not easy. The only way it gets easy, and like, this goes for any content, is if you do it in a group. Okay? I did it like, as you've seen here in this video, I did it like on this clip with somebody else on the server and there's like two of those plus like four frowls and we almost still like died or lost frowls in a few occasions like it's just stupid like and none of the other dungeons or bosses in the game have this like I can get through this dungeon just fine by myself I kite the bosses I kill all skeletons before I pull the boss it's fine like it's not t impossible it's the last boss specifically, I think, what's the issue here. And I think all he needs is just a, you know, a 30% health reduction. And then that'll be it. Like, it won't be a bad encounter. But it's just, you cannot do enough damage to this boss by yourself. So you need your Frowl to do the work. But, like, Funcom keep nerfing all the Frowls and making the game harder and making Frowls pointless. The whole reason I'm like mostly a solo player, so I have a frowl to go with me in these dungeons to do the content. I can't do that if my frowl is a fucking piece of shit and is terrible at the job he's supposed to do. Like, what's the point in bringing him? 
And this is an issue that's been getting worse and worse. Every update has been nerfing Thrells completely. You know, it's been this has been an ongoing thing now for a long time um, with the game. How they keep just nerfing stuff. And it's making it harder for the solo player. And they're not taking that into account. I'm not asking for like drastic changes for this dungeon. But I do think like... The last boss definitely needs like a HP reduction at least by like 20-30% and those red skeleton bosses definitely need to be like able to be stunned because you know you can that can hit you can they will two shot you if you're not careful and if the dungeon requires a very specific build to go for it then it's not balanced it's just not balanced it's just bad game design you know and all builds should be viable when you're doing content like this Agility builds, strength builds, shield builds, you know, it, it it doesn't matter, like, and it shouldn't depend on just one weapon, too, like, everyone keeps mentioning the uh, momentum weapon, oh, just with momentum, uh, it's easy then, well, yeah, it's probably going to be easy if you use an OP weapon or a crutch weapon, try doing it without that, and it's not going to be easy, so, yeah, I hope they do something about this dungeon, like, just not rebalance it completely, just reattune it for the new balance. That's all it needs, because, like, Warmaker Dungeon, Rena Champ, it's still a Thrall Killer, but it's doable. Just put your Thrall in Scout Mode, and you can stun like the boss. It's not a hard, it's not a hard encounter. You're going to watch it not get hit, but you can do it. It's not hard. You know, and all other bosses in that dungeon aren't hard. Unnamed City, same deal. It's not that hard, you know. And, yeah, Warmaker definitely gets ramped up there in difficulty, but it was never that hard. I could, I've done it a hundred times, like, I know the encounter, I know the dungeon, I've done it. Like, I could do it blindfolded. But there's nothing you can substitute having your Thrall take insane damage, because not only does it get stuck half the time, too, on objects, but then your Thrall will also just not attack, it'll just be stupid. So, it's just... Yeah, this is a bit of a rant, but I definitely think this dungeon needs to be looked at. Um, hopefully, Funcom do look at it. Ignore all the negative Nellies what are saying it's fine. It's not It's not a get good situation. Like I said, I've done this dungeon a hundred times. I've played hard games. I've I've done it. Like I've got over five thousand hours in this game. It's not like the dungeon itself, it's just that it's the, the the last boss what needs like looking at and it's the skeletons what just need looking at. Everything else is fine. So this is my little rant. Um, maybe you'll see more of these, you know, but that's just my mind anyhow, my, my two cents on the issue, so, see you guys.